And the bottom line is, if we want lower gas prices, we need to have a more oil supply right now. A historic announcement from President Biden, the U.S. will release one million barrels of oil per day from the Strategic Petroleum Reserves for six months. It's a move that President Biden hopes will relieve pain at the pump as gas prices soar and Russia's invasion of Ukraine continues on. President Biden says it is not known how much gas prices will drop as a result, but did suggest that it could be anywhere from 10 cents to 33 cents a gallon. Gas Buddy shows Indiana is averaging at about 413 a gallon. This is a wartime bridge to increase oil supply until production ramps up later this year. And it is by far the largest release of our, net, of our national reserve in our history. It will provide historic amount of supply for a historic amount of time. Look, I know gas prices are painful. I get it. My plan is going to help ease that pain today and safeguard again to, against tomorrow. Some local businesses say they're starting to lose customers and employees thanks to high gas prices. News aides Garrett Burquist is live for us to show us how this is hurting businesses we depend on to deliver what we need. Garrett. Alexis, this station behind me is selling regular gas for four fifteen a gallon, so quite high. Our courier services handle everything from merchandise deliveries to important documents and even medical services. And one courier service here in Indianapolis tells me those gas prices are catching up with them. Yeah, these are donated things. You name it, Brent Griffin and his team at Roscoe Express Delivery will deliver it. Radios, fans, air purifiers. But gas prices are driving up Griffin's business costs. Clients are asking us to lower prices. Therefore, uh, that's kind of affecting the way we pay our drivers as well. Because basically, if we lower our prices, our drivers is going to get less money. And they're asking for more. Griffin says he's already lost both drivers and customers. President Joe Biden has ordered the release of one million barrels of oil from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve every day for the next six months. That's 180 million barrels total. Ball State University economist Dr. Dagny Falk says, theoretically, this could save you 15 to 20 cents a gallon based on daily consumption. But there are a lot of variables, starting with refinery capacity. There's about 10% extra capacity. Um, I'm not sure if that million gallons a day, if that 10% extra is gonna be enough to refine that much oil. Falk says summer travel will drive up demand as well, which pushes prices up. And we still don't know exactly how sanctions against Russia will affect oil supplies long term. The federal government has very little control over gas prices. Yeah, I'm curious to actually see what this impact is, if there's even a 15 to 20 cents per gallon impact. Griffin estimates his company can keep up its current operations for another six months. After that, we may have to cut back on drivers. Uh, we're going to have to up our prices. We could potentially lose clients doing that as well. So we could take a big hit. Ball State University's Dr. Falk points out gas prices have been dropping slightly. The latest data from GasBuddy.com shows the average price for a gallon of gas in Indiana has dropped by about six cents per gallon since last week. Live in Indianapolis, Garrett Bergquist, Wish TV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook.